Hey ladies and gents, welcome to the Insta tutorial for the Pez Universe version 7 option file. This gives you access to all the real life team names, kits and badges, the latest managers for all the teams and all the competitions and logos. There's two option files and this is for the PS4 and PS5. There is an option file A which is available right now which includes fixes and updates and then there's going to be an option file B, which is coming just around the corner, which features future transfers. So the likes of Jaden Sancho being at Manchester United. And more importantly for me is the 2021 and 2022 kits, which I'm really hyped about. So that's going to be an option file B. If you have an option file already installed, then do not skip any of these steps. If you don't have an option file installed, then you can download the files to USB and then you can jump straight to the import teams, which I've timestamped in this video. This is a standalone install. You don't have to install version one, two, three, four, five or six before it. Just install this version, which is version seven, and it's the latest version to date. OK, so open Google and just type in Pez Universe and then click on PezUniverse.com. Then you're going to want to log in. And once you've logged in, you just want to go to the membership or the member hubs, should I say, and then head over to either the gold or silver hubs. Obviously, gold means you get it a little bit sooner, these updates than the silver membership. So I am a gold member. And then I'm just going to head over to the main option files. So click enter hub. Now on the far right hand side is the V7 hub. So this is where we want to go next because we're downloading and installing the version seven file. So click enter hub. And now we have two options here, option A and option B. So if we look down here, we can see that option A includes the full V7 with no new 21, 22 updates, such as the kits or transfers. For example, Aguero is not at Barcelona. Alaba is still with Bayern Munich. Option B includes everything that option A includes, but also adds the 21 and 22 updates, such as kits, stats, or stat updates, transfers for some of the bigger teams. For example, loan players are returned to their clubs and Aguero at Barcelona, while players who have improved from last year are given a stat boost. So I really, really like the, you know, the option B, but we're going to be installing option A today because that's the only one available. Option B is coming soon as you can see here. So, but both of these install exactly the same way. So, you know, when, when B is released and you can see it here, then we can just click on that link. But right now we can only use the option A. So I'm going to be showing you how to install option A. Like I said, option B and option A, the install is exact, exactly identical. So it doesn't really matter. So just above where it says option A is the password, which I've grayed out. Um, so you can just literally copy that password and then paste it into this box here and click unlock file. And then just wait for that to download. While this is downloading, just grab your USB stick and then put that into your computer. So once it's finished downloading, you just want to click on this little arrow and click show in folder. This will take you to your downloads page probably. And then you just want to right mouse click on the WEPS.RAR file and click extract here. Once it's finished, you can then literally right mouse click on this folder here. Make sure it's the yellow folder and click copy. And then you want to navigate to your USB stick. So as you can see here, I've already got a WEPS folder in here already. So just want to delete that out. And then just right mouse click and click paste. Okay, and once that's finished, you're ready to move to the next stage. So you just want to click on this little arrow here 
and then you'll see a little USB looking device here. Click on that and then click eject. Okay, so boot up your PlayStation 4 or 5 and then you'll want to go to your storage. So go to settings and then go down to storage. You want to go console storage if you're on the PS5. And then you want to go to saved data. On the PS5 you want to go and select PS4 games. And then you just want to find the eFootball PES 2021 season update. And on the PS5 there's like a little box here to edit and delete data. And then you just want to select both these edit data files, nothing else. Otherwise you'll delete your master leagues and all the rest of it. So just the edit data and backup edit data files. Click OK and then click delete. And then say this saved data will be deleted. Click OK. OK, now back out. Keep backing out and then launch eFootball PES 2021. OK, so once your game is booted up, you just want to go across the settings, go to edit. And here it's going to ask, you know, it's going to basically say it needs to create the edit data. Just click yes to that. Click OK. Then just go down to Import Export. Now scroll down to Delete Images. Select Strip L. Click Delete All Images. Click OK. Click Yes. Click OK. Strip S. Delete All Images. Click OK. Click Yes. Click OK. Then go to Team Emblems. Click Delete All Images. Click OK. Click Yes. Click OK. Click on Competition Emblems, click Delete All Images, click OK, click Yes. Click OK. Click on Manager Photo, click Delete All Images, click OK, click Yes. Click OK. Click on Stadium Image. Click Delete All Images. Click OK. Click Yes. Click OK. Click on Sponsor Logo Image. Click Delete All Images. Click OK. Click Yes. Click OK and then back out. Now we're going to go to Import Team. Click OK. Make sure your USB stick in is actually inserted at this point. I forgot to mention that. So just make sure you, and if nothing comes up here, it's because you haven't inserted your USB stick or you haven't fat for, uh, formatted it in FAT32 format. Um, or 
it might be an unbranded USB stick that the PS4 or PS5 doesn't recognize. If you're on a PS4 Pro, I'd recommend using the rear port because sometimes your USB sticks are a little bit chunky and they won't actually fit into the forward slot. So sometimes the rear slot at the back on the PS4 Pro is the best way to go. So just a few little tips there. Then select your USB stick here by pressing X. And it's easier than ever before today. So you just press square to select all the files. Click X to go to detailed settings. Tick both boxes and click OK. And then just go away and make a cup of tea and wait until you come back. And I'll explain what to do next. If you want to skip this part, I will leave a timestamp in the video where you can skip this bit if you want. So you don't have to sit there and watch this go through 683 imports.
Click OK. Then go to Import Competition. Click OK. Select your USB stick. Press Square to select all files. Go to Detailed Settings and click OK. Once that's finished, click OK. Press circle on your controller to return. And then you want to go to competition structure. And now you want to go to draw size. And then you want to change the Bundesliga to 18 teams. And also set the J1 league to 18 teams as well. Now if you back out to the competition structure again, you want to go to Europe first. Press left bumper. Until you get to the Bundesliga, swap out Salzburg and find the first German team, which is Schalke. Press right bum uh, left bumper, and then you want to find the next team, which is Ferran, and swap those out for either Bayern Munich or Bayer Leverkusen, and then mold for the last remaining German team, so it's Bayer Leverkusen in this example. So there we go. So that's the Bundesliga sorted. We just need to go to Asia. And we want to press left bumper until we get to the screen here. You want to select this team here. Press left bumper until you get to the AFC Champions League. And then you want to scroll down to and find FC Tokyo. And then press right bumper back to the J1 League. And we want to select um, Melbourne City, so the, in the bottom right hand corner here, press left bumper and then we're going to select Vassal Kobe and then we're going to press right bumper and select this team up here and then press left bumper and then the final team is Yokohama F Marinos. Okay, so that's the only changes you need to make and then you're pretty much all set. You can just back out and it will save your data automatically. And then we can just go into local match. And just make sure all the teams are there and the competitions are there. Just remember, you know, if you are going to play an exhibition game to turn off the live update. So click your right analog stick down. Make sure you click live update off. That just ensures any teams with the, you know, creative players means that they'll actually be there. So you can see here that the teams aren't all like one or two stars. If you see that, then you haven't enabled the, the you haven't turned off the live update. So it's all looking good. Looks like we've got all the Premier League teams here. I've got the Premier League logo as well, the Skybet Championship, so on and so forth. So that's pretty much the end of this tutorial, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. And like I said, this will work for option A and option B. I'm really looking forward to option B. I think it should be within the next week or two. So be, you know, stay tuned for that. Pez Universe is going to announce it soon. So I'm really, really looking forward to that for sure. But it's exactly the same install process as what you've seen today. Okay, that's all for me. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.